So guys, you know, we uh, I try to put educational posts that are kind of interesting and, uh, you know, people get a lot out of it. Um, I just had another post that we placed that there was a gentleman who had LASIK, but Shuna had LASIK. Uh, believe it or not, this happens a lot, and it happens mostly by people who are not LASIK experts. They just do LASIK on the side, make a little bit of money, it's all been well, but the problem is this is not their expertise, and they do LASIK sometimes on people who are not good candidates. And I've said this before so many times, if you're not a good candidate for something, you pay me a million dollars, I don't do it. I don't care. You know what I mean? But what happened, as you can see, is if you can um, imagine this is a picture of this beautiful lady's corneas, is imagine you're sitting in a satellite and you're looking down on planet Earth. The blue is like the ocean, so it's nice and flat. The green is like a golf course, and the red is like the mountains, right? So as you can see, the bottom part of her cornea has gotten so steep and red, and the top part is all flat and blue. So basically, her cornea looks like a little skinny person with a big fat belly. So it's, it's protruding out like this. And uh, as a result, her vision is horrible. She's legally blind without glasses, and even with glasses, your vision ain't that hot, no, right? No, at all. We've tried contacts, we've tried glasses, nothing seems to work. No. And uh, this is one of my specialties, is to fix kind of ectatic corneas, yes. or corneas that have gone sour because of uh, this kind of procedure. Sometimes people get it on their own, it's called keratoconus, and they're, those guys, they've never had surgery, but their cornea is a lot thinner than, than at the average. Mm -hmm. And your cornea right now, instead of being about 540, is only about 420, something like that. So it's gotten really thin because of that. And it can't no longer support its own weight, so it bulges forward. So what we're gonna do is called Intax. It's the only FDA approved procedure to treat this condition. So what we're gonna do is we put basically a hot dog in a pita bread. Yeah. So we're gonna make a little opening in a pita bread and stick these two hot dogs in there. And instead of the cornea looking like this, it's gonna go whoop like this and stand up straight. Um, the procedure is very fast, doesn't hurt. There's no anesthesia necessary, just topical drops. And um, the recovery is almost immediate, although your vision goes up and down for a few weeks. And then uh, what uh, we can do is, if you need it, maybe do a little bit of laser on top of that. Or people sometimes go just to wearing soft contact. But your best correct vision goes way up because your cornea becomes nice and straight. Sure. Um, sometimes I also supplement that with a procedure called collagen cross-linking, which will stabilize the cornea. The thing with you is you're not getting worse anymore. You're pretty much where you're gonna be. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I'll need to do that. But if I do, I have it right here. So we can go ahead and turn it on and do that. But uh, I'm very optimistic to get you to see Thank really you. good again. How long Thank have you been like this now? How many years? Years, a couple more than six, seven years. Six, seven years. Yeah, it's just getting worse, worse and worse. It's amazing how people are so easy going and they put up with it. I couldn't, I mean, <laughs> nobody could live with vision in this poor. Yeah, it's, it is. it's really bad. You kind of get used to it. I'll do my best. Thank you, doctor. You're so Thank you. Thank you so much. Center of the night, sweetheart. Don't just like
You know, I don't miss doing clients when I'm tired of my life. It's two hours. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? It has to be just perfect. Because you're using suture that's much finer than your eyelashes to support a little piece of tissue that half a millimeter inside the pigment. At the end, you're happy, but why are you doing that? Why do I do this stuff? Let's go check your vision. Good, I feel okay. Good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It kind of goes yeah. like that. Yes. But you couldn't see those before, yeah, even with the last. I feel like uh, my stigmatism is so much those uh, blurs that I used to it's see. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. And this is just two yeah. minutes after R -H -A -S -E. surgery. Yeah. Here. S. <laughs> when I opened both of it, I used to see all like three of them when um, I used to come here and look. It used to be stigmatism. Under the letters used to be like three, four letters continuing. And now? Now the letters are gone. It's just the black letters. How long has it been since the surgery? Not even five minutes, like <laughs> two minutes. Congratulations. Oh Thank you for your time. You're going to have a whole new world now, I promise.